Hi, this is Dr. Brenda Malka, the chiropractor, acupuncturist, and myofascial trigger point therapist all rolled in one. For those of you who can't get treated by your favorite therapist, I decided to start a YouTube channel addressing different pain syndromes so you can treat yourself with stretches, exercises, and self-massage at home, and hopefully get some relief. My specialty is pain relief of local and referral pain. Referred pain is pain that travels from a tight spasm muscle to another part of the body. For instance, most headaches come from muscles of the neck and upper shoulder. In fact, migraines only make up about 2% of headaches, so you may have been misdiagnosed. For instance, this trapezius trigger point right here, that's the one that gives that headache that feels like it's pounding on the side of your head and into your eye. And then this suboccipital muscle right here gives the headache that's kind of that wraparound vice headache. And then finally, this muscle here, the sternocleidomastoid, will create a kind of a sinus headache. I've had several patients that have gone into their doctors being diagnosed with sinus infections. They've gone on antibiotics only to find out when they come into me that they just have trigger points in this lower neck area. Also, sciatic pain, that pain that goes down the back of the leg, is caused by a pinched nerve coming out of the spine, following through a tight piriformis muscle that then causes that radiation. Or the sciatic nerve can also be pinched as it comes out of the spine, also causing that referral pain down the back of the leg. We will be launching a new YouTube video every Friday at 3 p.m. And I will be available for any questions you have or suggestions for future videos. To allow me to make more videos for you in the future, please press the subscribe button, press the notification button so you don't miss a video, and press the like button, and be sure to share with your friends and family. Now I'm going to discuss the 10 tips to prevent the flu. Number one, drink hot liquids including coffee, tea, and soups and sip warm liquids every 20 minutes to keep your mouth moist and to bring any virus that's in your mouth to your stomach where the gastric juices can neutralize it before it gets to the lungs. Also, Chinese medicine always encourages consumption of warm foods and liquids as not to shock the system. Number two, gargle with an antiseptic in warm water like vinegar, salt, and or lemon juice. Number three, shower when you get home immediately. Do not sit down and wash your clothes. The virus attaches itself to hair and clothes and detergent or soap will help to kill it. If you can't wash your clothes every day, hanging them in direct sunlight will neutralize the virus. Number four, Wash metallic surfaces like door handles with antiseptic, including a mixture of one and a half ounces of bleach per gallon of water. And be careful when touching handrails, door handles, and even the gas pump. Number five, don't smoke. Smoking dries out the air passages. Number six, wash your hands every 20 minutes for 20 seconds preferably in warm, soapy water. Number seven, be careful not to have people touch your pets and don't touch other people's pets. The virus can linger on the fur. Number eight, try not to catch the common cold. This can weaken the immune system. And now the last two recommendations are the quickest way to boost your immune system in a short period of time. Number nine, boost your immune system by eating fruits and vegetables, avoiding sugar, fats, and processed foods. And increase your zinc levels, not just your vitamin C levels. Number 10, to keep your immune system strong, get plenty of sleep, even taking naps if possible. Now the following are a list of the 10 recommendations. I'll give you a moment to take a screenshot so you can have them with you.